Women want what they can't have. Women chase what they can't get. Women want men that elude them. They don't want guys that are easy to get, guys that are predictable, right? Guys that they feel certainty with. Instead, they want guys that are unpredictable, guys that make them feel uncertainty, guys that keep them in mystery, guys that keep them on the edge of their seats wanting to know more, right? They don't want guys that they can get in their clutches so easily. They want men that they can't have, right? I think it's just part of human nature that we just want things that we can't, you know, that we're, we're being told, no, you can't have that, right? It makes you want it even more. But this is especially true for females and female nature that when they are told that they can't have something, almost like children, it's like they want it 10 times more. The last thing that any female out there wants is a guy that she knows she can have at any time. Your old blue pill self might have been telling you things like, oh, I have to make sure the girl knows I'm available. She knows that I'm single and I'm not seeing anybody. You might be like dating somebody on the side. You might hide that fact. If you've had a girlfriend recently, you might try to hide that fact too. Like, no, I'm completely single, girl. I'm totally available. And then you kind of trip out because you notice that the girl like has no attraction for you. She doesn't bite. She doesn't bite on that, right? Why? It's because females are not wired to want things or be attracted to things that she knows she can already get anyway. She's wired to be attracted to things that she knows she can't get, she can't have so easily that she has to work for because again, just going back to us as humans, we don't value things that we don't have to work for, right? Especially true with females. They won't value anything or anyone for that matter that they didn't have to work for. As long as she knows that she can have you at any time, she's never going to value you. And this is why I tell guys, you know, hey, if you're seeing other women, if you're dating other women, especially if they're hotter than her, younger than her, it pays to be honest. It pays to tell her, yeah, I'm seeing other people, right? It's counterintuitive to what you've been raised to believe, what the blue pill matrix has taught you to believe, right? Counterintuitive because you're actually telling the girl that you're seeing other women and you would think, like, no, if she finds out I'm seeing other women, she's not going to like that. She's going to be turned off. And it's quite the opposite, right? It's quite the opposite. This is why I don't hide my social media. I don't hide any photos that I have with other women because when other women see that, they get even more attracted. Sure, it pisses them off initially. They're like, why are you even trying to date more women? You have enough. You know, it pisses them off. But the underlying subtext of that is that they're intrigued by it and they're attracted by it, right? Because they have competition anxiety. They feel like, wow, if all these other like attractive women want him or, and are with him, they've pre-selected him, there must be something interesting about him, right? That I wanna find out. See how that works? So a lot of times honesty is the best policy, especially if you're seeing other females, right? And even if you're not, sometimes it's just good to let the girl know that you're interested in other females. Like, yeah, there's this other girl at my gym. She's really cute, really young, and just, oh, tight body. And you'll, and you'll talk to her almost like you would a guy friend and tell her about this other girl. And again, you would think, like, that would turn her off, right? Contrary to popular belief, it would not, right? Counterintuitive. By telling her, like, you're attracted to this other girl, who you find attractive, who you find hot, young, thin, it communicates to her like, like wow, what am I, chop liver? <laughs> am I not good looking enough for you? It communicates all the right things to her, especially if she's the least bit cute. I mean, I'll tell you right now, every single guy in her life is throwing themselves at her feet, being like, oh girl, just me and you, I'm so available for you, I'll dedicate my life to you, I have no one else, I'm just a low value male and I need you because I'm a needy little bitch. You know, she's not interested in that. She's not interested in a guy that she knows that she can have. Females don't want guys they know they can have. They want guys 
that they can't get, right? That they can't have so easily. Guys that they have to work for. And if you meet these chicks in field, no matter how hot they are, the worst thing you should do is make yourself seem like you're completely available for her. You have like no plans whatsoever. You're completely, her schedule's wide open to go out with her. You have nothing else better to do, nothing else going on in life, but to wait for her to say yes to a date with you. Worst, absolute worst thing you could possibly do. Best thing you could do is tell that girl about other chicks you're interested in. And if you're dating other women, tell her about those girls, right? What you're doing is you are lowering her guard, right? You're lowering her guard where she is not seeing you as like another one of these beta orbiters or these potential male suitors who's trying to like sell her on him, trying to convince her like, oh, I'm the guy you should go out with. Instead, you're going in the opposite direction. You're telling her about other females. So you're removing yourself from the position of like, you're trying to get in her pants and you have this agenda. Like all the other guys, again, all the other guys in her life trying to like get in her pants, they're all doing that same thing. Instead, you're going in the opposite direction and you're actually telling her about other women you're dating or other women that you are interested in dating. You're actually being honest about this and you're telling her, hey, I find these other chicks hot. And at the same time, you're not really communicating any interest in her. You're just giving her something to chase, okay? and by doing this, she's gonna start to wonder about you. She's gonna start to wonder, even get a little insecure about herself. Like, why isn't he into me? Why isn't he talking about me? Why isn't he trying to like get me out this weekend, right? You're gonna start occupying her thoughts, right? And that's where attraction comes from, is once you start to occupy the girl's thoughts, just by default, she will become attracted to you, right? She will become emotionally invested in you, which is what you want. They're not attracted to guys that they know they can have. They're attracted to guys that they know that they can't have, that they can't so easily get. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Okay, also hit that notification bell, right? Very important, you guys, hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube, okay? Uh, more importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, right? It helps me out a ton when you, see, when you actually subscribe. So please subscribe to my channel as well. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this highly valuable content even further, red pill, gold pill, platinum pill, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens. Same exact type of women that myself and my students are out there approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, every single week. I have students all over the world just totally killing it, crushing it, meeting beautiful women every single day using the same exact lessons that I teach you in my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months of Mastery. And right now, it's still only a buck to get in, so take advantage of it. Still only $1 for the entire first month of coaching lessons, and that's the absolute best way to support my work and my channel and everything I'm doing here. Really easy to sign up. All you need to do is just click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you could get signed up right now. Just takes two seconds. So do that now, and I will see you in my next coaching video.